guys this is like the fifth time i've tried to film this video i've swapped cameras three times hopefully it's gonna be fifth time lucky so if you're new to the channel my name is hannah martin and i'm a rhythmic gymnast yes i'm the one that throws the hoop catches the club and twirls the ribbon today i'm going to be talking a bit about my background as a homeschooled athlete and also breaking a few old homeschool myths and also my back to school haul or for some people my first day at school haul at, at, at 16 yeah I, I know so first of all I just want to go over some misconceptions of homeschooling so the first question that I got constantly asked as a child was this so do you just sit down and watch TV all day I don't understand why some people didn't get the concept of home school underline school we did do some work some school work it put the two things no okay but i think some people just in their minds when they think of homeschooling they just think instantly of this <sighs> what time is it Oh, it's 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Man, I'm up early today. Do I feel like doing any schoolwork today? No, I'll just... I think I'll just... sleep. <sighs> it's not the way it was. No. Of course, it did not take as much time as a normal school day would. We were probably doing schoolwork for about three or four hours a day. Uh, but we would just crack down and do it, not take many breaks and just try and get through the schoolwork as quickly as possible. But another question we got asked a lot was... So, are you super smart then? And you'll be pleased to know that yes, this is the case. I'm joking. Well, you have the two complete opposite sides. Some people just think we're couch potatoes and some people think we're just like super smart so we don't need help of teachers but we really did. We did need help and my mum helped us a lot and I also had some maths teachers that I used to see. And the last one, I mean, this irks me the most, this question, is this. Do you actually have any friends? Yeah, we, we, we did venture into the outside world sometimes. We did go to like homeschooler conventions and stuff, so we did meet other homeschoolers, so I guess that's where we made most of our friends, but we did have a social life. When I became a elite athlete, it became a little bit more tricky for me because you would usually do my schoolwork and then socialize, maybe go out with a homeschooler trip or something. But when I became an elite athlete, it was like homeschool and then I went straight to training. My mum used to train me when I was younger and she used to just take me wherever there was room, so like classrooms, dance studios, badminton courts, anywhere that we could get for a cheap price. And often it would just be me and her training, so I wouldn't necessarily see a lot of other people, but I guess that was something I felt was worth sacrificing for that time to really get me to the level that I really aspired to be at. A definite pro is we did have a lot more time than maybe some people. We had a lot of free time that we could invest into our interests and stuff because our schoolwork didn't take as long because we were just focused and got it all done in one go. And there was less distractions from other people so I guess that also helped to get the work done quickly. Uh, it also teached a certain amount of independence like we had to make sure we got our work done, especially in the last few months of my homeschooling when I had GCSEs, I had to be responsible for getting enough work done and enough revision done for me to do well in my GCSEs. I guess one of the cons is it was quite frustrating when there wasn't a teacher around when I couldn't understand something. My parents helped me as much as they could and I did see a maths teacher. I roughly saw her about once a month, but coming closer up to my GCSEs, I saw her a lot more. When I couldn't understand a concept, it was very frustrating not having someone there I could ask all the time. Not being able to learn off and bounce off the energy of others was probably another difficult one because I know you learn so much from other people's work as well, just as much as you learn from your own mistakes and work. So I feel like 
being homeschooled we couldn't necessarily like learn so much from other people if, if you know what I mean I'll give you a bit of background I wasn't homeschooled because I was an athlete I was homeschooled right from the start I've never had a day of school in my life it's actually quite scary because I'm going to school after the world championships which um, I must missing my first two weeks of sixth form so uh, I'm not looking forward to being behind straight as I get back from Worlds but I will keep you updated and if you guys want more about how I'm feeling about my first day of school at 16 just comment down below and I can definitely do a video on that so we were homeschooled because my parents were travelling a lot because they were missionaries so we couldn't necessarily uh, stay in one place for a long period of time so that's basically why we were homeschooled and I've never been to school in my whole life. Now I want to show you some of my first day at school haul. Gone a bit overboard with my back to school haul so I'm gonna show you a few of the things that I bought because I'm so excited about them and I've got this whole colour scheme going and it's just so good. I have my shiny pencil case. Look at that baby. So shiny. I have a very quite boring looking A4 notepad but it's got like little sections in it so you can like go through like each subject and maybe have a section I'm thinking. I have some cute little sticky notes which are shiny on the sides. This is my back to school diary like to let the school know when I'm gonna be competing when I'm not gonna be at school. My highlighters this is my notepad from Minsk World Cup. It is Alina Haranasko, if you, I don't know how to, I don't know how to say it. Um, and so I thought that would just be a cute thing to take with me. Uh, nice little folders going with my colour scheme. Another like folder thing, which has like little pages in that you can put things in. Some pens, more pens, and some more pens. Ah! Uh, Tipex and last but not least and I've actually already started using it because I liked it so much my new notepad it's believe achieve repeat so I love this and I feel like in school it will remind me of like my motto dream big and make it happen so guys I hope that kind of covers a little bit for you what homeschooling is about and I hope you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe because I would really really appreciate it and Click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want any more uh, videos about homeschooling. If you have any particular questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. Guys, remember, dream big, make it happen.